everyone on a walk. Got a smaller group. Sorry, I'm eating the sweet as well. Um, so I've got pumpkin, Nala, Finnick and Katniss because the weather's been so bad and it's been Christmas and stuff that we haven't been out for a few days. So in case they're excitable, no, you too won't be, but yeah, anyway, um, managed to get everybody out except for Aria in the field this morning. Um, she's still in season and then it rained and now it stopped raining. So I got the first group out and I'm just going to have to get them out in between the showers, but at least the wind's died down because when it's so windy, it's just, you can't film because it's too loud really messes the audio and then we had like rain with the wind and anyway it wasn't good filming weather oh my god you can tell I'm not with it today I've done all of this walk and then I've gone oh I haven't filmed anything else oh, dear. oh my god <laughs> that's bad isn't it guys Um, the dogs are actually being really cool and really good. Um, they've been quite calm because I did expect them to be a bit wilder. Pumpkin and Finnick did have um, one momentary chase of a rabbit. But they never catch anything. But yeah. Um, so what's going on? I did all of this and I was like, I'm filming. Um, but yeah, anyway, not really up to much. It's that like, really weird time between... Christmas and New Year where nothing really much happens and nobody really knows what day it is um, and yeah Raven's got like two and a half weeks left or two weeks and two days till her due date something like that so um, it won't be long maybe time to set up the whelping box um, if I'm organised, I might do like a time lapse of me setting it up. I've just seen a rabbit run across. <laughs> they swatted it. But it's miles in front of them. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think that's part of the reason why they love coming up here so much is the rabbits. You know, if you think it'll always be a scent of a rabbit trail to follow we get foxes up here too <laughs> do you know like you haven't walked in a few days you're not feeling brilliant and the walk is taken quite a bit of effort it's kind of where I'm at today um yeah it is what it is but it is nice to see the dogs enjoying themselves and they needed to get out for all the wind and rain so sweetie tweety yeah puff pumps Where's Nala gone? That's Katniss. Oh, there's Nala. You got a puff as well, banana. I saw you chasing a bunny rabbit. Was you chasing a bunny rabbit? Was ya? Was ya? Gently. I know this bit's going to be bad because of the amount of rain we've had and how waterlogged the field is at the farm. You just know this bit's going to be bad. At least the dogs can go and avoid it. They can go through the trees. So, it's 
started to rain. As you can see from over there, that's the direction that like 99% of the time the rain and the weather comes from. So I remember when I used to be riding, I'd be on the arena to show you guys have seen on previous videos. And I could look over, I'd see the rain come in. And I hadn't arrived yet. And I knew I had like five minutes to cool the horse off and get in before the rain made it this far over. Unfortunately, I was behind the trees and more than five minutes away, no matter what way I came for this uh, current shower. So, probably be get home, change clothes, wait for it to pass, and then take the next group. And if it doesn't pass, I'll do like trick training, something with the other dogs. I had to go at teaching them to ring a bell yesterday. So they all had to go. Uh, Jude obviously picked it up quickest because it's Jude. And she would have picked it up even quicker. She still picked it up in two, within like two minutes. But it would have been even quicker if she wasn't so excited at the beginning. Because when she knows she's training, oh my God, she is so happy, so delighted. And she like tries too hard which is like a really good problem to have. But equally, she does need to cool it just for like a minute so she can concentrate quicker. It was not in this bad weather because now her cat needs to go a bit quicker. Doesn't make no difference to you, does it? It doesn't make no difference to you. The other thing I do, because this walks like a loop and we do it quite a lot. You know, more do it in the winter than the summer, but we, anyway, we do it a lot. So I hide bits of kibble and treats along the paths. So on the way back, they kind of go on a sniffing thing for finding bits of treats and kibble. And they all know the game, like I don't even really need to direct them to do it, they just get on a mission and do it. Um, and what this all also stops them doing is getting too far ahead of me. So like, because it's a loop and they've already investigated this bit, chances are they're going to do it quicker because they're not investigating and sniffing it as so much. So this also slows them down. Um, and if you think for something like Finnick, slowing down is probably the hardest thing for him to do because he's so excited all of the time and he's 100 miles an hour all of the time. So actually slowing down, sniffing, using his brain a little bit, and calming down is actually very good for him mentally. Um, like for example, yesterday doing the, teaching them to ring a bell when he got it right and I went, yeah, good boy, I gave him a treat. He got so excited. He had to like jump up and have a cuddle and he's like, wow, I did it, I did it. And he was so like, wow, bouncy and flying around. And then you kind of had to let him get that out of his system to then, you know, attempt the trick again of tapping the bell. And then you say, yeah, good boy. And then you go through it all again. So his session took longer because it was only like a five less than 10 minute session because you know it's something new but his was like full on 10 minutes because right. phone ran out of memory so yeah his session took longer than everyone else's just because he was so happy and excited when he got it right and that sums up Finnick like he's not doing anything naughty like it is the way he reacts because he's jumping up because he's so excited they're going forward to where I've hidden more of the treats but yeah he's not being disobedient as such he's just so happy and excited like life is just wonderful when you're Finnick so when you see him like this just plodding along sniffing and 
using his brain and being calm. This is really good behaviour to encourage from him. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this here and I shall see you all soon. Bye.